The subject of today's blog is lower interest rates do not necessarily mean higher consumer borrowing. Recently, interest rates have fallen. Even though low interest rates mean lower borrowing costs, businesses have used these lower costs more to their advantage than consumers, according to a June 9, 2012 New York Times article. Consequently, in the first quarter of 2012, businesses were borrowing more than ever since the 2008 financial crisis. However, that is not the trend for consumers. Consumers are trying to shed as much debt as possible. Education costs are creating fewer incentives for consumers to spend extra. Foreclosures and defaults have raised some debts and banks are now exercising more restraint when issuing loans to consumers. An increasing number of people are refinancing their loans, taking advantage of low interest rates, but few are receiving new mortgages. Business policies that result from loans do benefit consumers through hiring, much higher stock prices, and higher taxes on corporations. On the other hand, companies are using loans to pay off older debts that were issued when interest rates were higher. Corporations are also holding a large amount of cash. Currently, they hold $1.7 trillion in total, according to recent statistics. An exception to the decline in consumer loans is in the area of auto loans. Still, consumers are exercising caution when deciding whether or not to take out an auto loan. 